So is Biden going to eventually be forced out? Obviously, I don't think he's going to voluntarily leave, but will he be forced out? I think when all said and done, it comes down to one thing. I do. I think we can boil this all down to one thing. And those of you who were watching our videos yesterday, particularly our morning video, you know the one thing. We talked about it. And I, I again, I'm reading, I'm, I'm assessing. I think it all comes down to one thing in the end. I think it's coming down to who wins a civil war that has erupted inside the Democratic Party. And that civil war is between Democrat donors and Democrat delegates. To me, that's ultimately what this is coming down to. Donors versus delegates. Who is going to win that civil war? You see, in the end, I, we are seeing this civil war break out between donors and delegates. And in the end, it really doesn't matter what a bunch of Democrat politicians are saying. It doesn't matter what Jerry Nadler is saying. It, it doesn't matter what Hollywood actors are saying. Uh, it doesn't matter what state legislatures are saying. It doesn't matter what pundits like Van Jones or Jake Tapper are saying. In the end, none of that really matters. This is going to come down to a face-to-face -face between donors and delegates. Write that down. Donors and delegates. That's what we're going to see over the next two weeks. Also, do not forget, we have got our Call to Arms event, our own free online event next Wednesday, July 17th. You are absolutely not going to want to miss this. This is gold, gang. This is uh, obviously given the, the uh, polling leads, given Biden's collapse, his campaign collapse, this is no time to get complacent. In fact, this is the time that we can bury the Democrats for a generation. And that's exactly what we're going to be strategizing about this next Wednesday night. The 17th, it starts at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's a completely free event that's designed to show you your own crucial role in securing Trump's victory in November. We've already had over a thousand of our fellow patriots RSVP. And if you click on that link below or, oh, look at that, we even have a QR code that you can scan. How's that for tech? We're getting big tech here at Turley Talks, right? So if you click on that link below or if you scan this brand new QR code, we are going to send you a Courageous Conservatives book bundle absolutely free. Just as a thank you for taking your part in securing Trump's victory seriously. So don't wait. Click on that link or scan that QR code and register today. We're seeing a civil war break out between don't Democrat donors on the one side, Democrat delegates on the other. Democrat donors, right now as we speak, are fleeing the sinking ship. There has been report after report after report that Biden's fundraising has literally dried up. It's gone ever since the debate. It's gone. No one's giving him money anymore. The mega donors are fleeing the ship. And yet, at the exact same time as Biden's donors are fleeing the ship, his delegates are actually coalescing around him. So this is what I think is perhaps the most fascinating development in terms of what's happening behind the scenes here. Again, this Game of Thrones stuff. Remember, what's happening right now as we speak is that ballots are being sent to all of Biden's delegates. Those ballots are getting returned over the course of the next week or so. And those delegates, as I understand it, are legally bound to Biden. Now, there is word coming out that the delegates are asking the DNC to change those rules so they can vote their conscience. I don't know about that. And certainly Biden's people aren't going to allow that. So what we're seeing here then is that this thing is going to come down to a face to face between donors and delegates. Biden looks like he's going to get the delegates to win the nomination. But he's going to lose the donors he needs to win the election. And talk about putting the Democrat Party in a pickle. He won the nomination, but he lost the means of winning the election. 
Does your financial advisor have your values in mind when it comes to investing in financial planning? Like when you invest in the stock market, do you know exactly which companies you're investing in? I mean, obviously, given the rise of Woke Inc., I bet you could think of a whole host of companies you don't want to give a dime to because of what they believe in and how they're contributing to the moral decline of America. And they're certainly not going to do that with your hard-earned dollars. Thankfully, my friends over at Sovereign Financial are committed to helping all of their clients be good stewards by investing your money only in companies you can be proud to own. Click on that link below and you'll quickly find they never invest in companies that support or profit from abortion, pornography, addictive lifestyles, or abuses of any kind. They only invest with companies contributing to positive change in America. This is huge, gang. These fiduciary financial planners always put your interests First, they help their clients be good stewards through tax strategy and planning, retirement planning, and they help you create a legacy for the next generation of Americans. The Patriots at Sovereign Financial are the real deal. So what are you waiting for? Now's the time to get your finances secured and working for you and for the good of our nation. Click on that link below right now to chat with a financial advisor and a true patriot today. And then the pressure here is how this is going to ultimately, this fallout is going to affect Democrats down ticket. Because again, like we talked about yesterday, there are a number of mega donors who are coming out saying that they're going to withhold their money from the Democrats as a whole until Biden drops out, particularly a Disney heiress, uh, uh, granddaughter of one of the founders of Disney, daughter or granddaughter of one of the founders of Disney. They, they don't want to be a part of the sinking ship. And they realize that if Biden goes down, all the other Democrats are going to go down. So they're pulling their money from the party as a whole until they squeeze Biden out. And we do have now internal Democrat polling that shows that they're going to lose upwards of 20 seats. That's what they're estimating. It could be worse than that. So there really does appear to be, as I mean, we're seeing the civil war going on on MSNBC and CNN between uh, Democrats who are all behind Biden. Democrats are like, dude, we got to get rid of this guy. It's a disaster. You're seeing that civil war there. But there's a real serious, consequential, behind-the-scenes civil war happening between donors and delegates. And whoever wins that civil war is ultimately going to determine whether Biden stays or whether he finally goes. 